Hello everybody. Today we are talking about Unit 10, traveling for work. I think all of us love traveling. We usually travel on holidays. For myself, I think traveling is one of the best things that we can do in our free time. Today, we have some vocab. The first word here, the word scenery. Scenery equals the word view. Scenery equals the word view. We have the second word here, economy class. Economy class. It equals second class. Talks about the levels of the carriages and the trains. The economy class is less expensive than the first class. Okay? Then we have the restaurant carriage. The restaurant carriage. Every train that is used for traveling for long distances must have restaurant carriages. Sli something like that. Something like that. It's a carriage in the train that can be used as a restaurant for meals, for having some drinks, and so on. Okay? Today's unit talks about the future. Today's unit talks about the future. The future time, if we want to express the future, we have several tenses that we can use. The first one is well. We use well in these things. Number one, to make offers and promises to do something in the future. Like, I'll take you to the airport tomorrow. I'll take you to the airport tomorrow. Another example when we say, I promise I will give you your money back next Thursday. It's a promise here. We also num have number two, to make decisions at the moment of speaking. To make decisions at the moment of speaking. Like, it's hot in here. I will open the, the window. It's hot in here. I will open the window. Something like, mm, I'm hungry. I will order something to eat. Someone else says, someone is knocking at the door. I will open the door. Number three, to make predictions about what we think will happen. It's a prediction without evidence. It's a prediction without evidence. When we say, I'm sure Dave will win the final. I am sure Dave will win the final. So this is my own prediction. It's not a rule or it's not something that have any proofs. Okay? These for well. I can't say something more about the promise. Promise can usually be used for good things. But when I threaten you, threaten you, that means that I will punish you or do something hurt. Like, if you don't do your homework, I will punish you. This is a threat. This is a threat. So, these are the forms or the usages of well. <clears throat> Number two, we have the word going to. We have the word going to. M is R plus going plus two plus infinitive. The first use here for going to. For plans, we have already decided to do before the moment of speaking. It differs from this. Here, it, in well, it was decisions at the moment of speaking. But here, the plans or decisions that have been decided to be done before the moment of speaking. We have already decided on our holiday destination. We are going to spend two weeks in Turkey. Okay? Number two. For predictions about the future, which are based on present evidence, something that you know or something that you have 
the ability to see it now. Simon's going to fail his math exam. He hasn't studied at all. We can say something else. Look at these clouds. I think it's going to rain. When you say, look out, the car is going to hit you. So these are predictions about things that you can see or things that are happening now. So this is use, the use of well and the use of going to. We also have number three, the present continuous. What? Can we use the present continuous to talk about the future? Yes, of course. For arrangements we have already made for a specific time in the future, usually with other people. Mary, Susan and I are meeting at 4 o'clock on Monday afternoon to discuss the plans. So we have made the arrangements for a specific time that we know in the future and we are waiting for the moment that we are going to talk about it in the future. Mary, Susan and I are meeting at 4 o'clock on Monday afternoon to discuss the plans. So this is fixed arrangements for the future. When we say I am meeting the boss next Monday at 11 o'clock at his office, someone else talks about the doctor that like we say I am seeing my doctor next evening I want to have my teeth checked okay number four we use the present symbol for the future what are you kidding me no it's not kidding here we use the present symbol for timetabled activities and events in the future like we say the meeting is next Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning the meeting is next Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning when you say my plan my plane leaves the airport at 10 tomorrow someone else says the bus goes to London tomorrow at 10 o'clock okay that's all let's check some exercise here read and correct the train leave at 9 o'clock so the word leave is incorrect so the correct form here is leaves the train leaves at 9 o'clock number two I'm hungry I think I'm going to buy a sandwich no here is a quick decision I'm hungry I think I will buy a sandwich number three you should break a room in a hotel no the word break is not correct we have to use the word book or reserve okay some more exercises someone is knocking at the door I here we have well open, I'm going to open, I'm opening or open it. So someone is knocking at the door, I will, I will open it. Number two, when does, is, is going to, will your plane, your plane leave? So when does your plane leave? So it's the present symbol form for the timetable things like we have just said that the timetable things like the planes, the trains, uh, the buses, all these have timetable like the cinema, the television, and so on. These are timetabled events. Number three, Mark will meet, is meeting, meets, meet us at seven at the cinema. So this is a fixed arrangement. Like Mark is meeting us at seven at the cinema i would just said that if we want to make a fixed arrangement about something that we will do in the future and in a, a specific time we have to use the present continuous number four there are a lot of clouds there are a lot of clouds 
it will rain it is going to rain it rains it is raining so this is an evidence for the prediction that we're going to make there are a lot of clouds it is going to rain number five Tom has decided he he will study he is studying he study he is going to study medicine at university so Tom has decided Tom has decided he will study medicine at university number two number two rewrite the following sentences to give the same meaning I'm so hungry I want to order for food yes use well I'm so hungry I will order for food number two Tom has decided to buy the medicine use well so Tom will buy the medicine number three they have decided to get married in August is going to they are going to get married in August number four he promises to buy her a new dress so he will buy her a new dress do you intend to buy a new flat is going to so are you going to buy a new flat yes so it was our lesson today about the future tense thank you